C7. It's a bit out of tune. Here's a good tune up and then voicing regulation. So, this serial number 2940903 is 1979 to 80s. It's a C7 conservatory ground from, from Yamaha. And uh, it's a very long piano, it's a seven foot uh, size, I believe. Um, and uh, it's, uh, it's a nice big sound. It's a bit thin in this area. I toned it in this area, it's a bit softer than it used to be. It's a tiny bit thin. The bass is great. It's a bit overpowering the bass, I found that it's not... But um, that note's out of tune. I've noticed the same problem multiple times on Yamaha, just overpowering bass, uh, which is something I've noticed. The bass is not balanced, really. It's a bit too much emphasis on the bass. So right now it sounds kind of a bit bright and twangy. I don't know if you can hear these notes, but... To solve the problem of a too harsh hammer, we have what we call voicing needles, and uh, it's basically a set of three needles that you poke into the hammer to change the tone. The strange thing is, I've found that most Yamahas need toning. Most grand pianos that I've worked on need toning. Almost all Yamahas, not Kawaii's or necessarily. When I've changed the tone. The next issue I found this piano was that the touch was quite heavy. Um, not on all the hammers, but on the section. So I had to loosen the touch by lubrication. These are fine. This octave here is it's just that E is a bit heavy. The rest is all fine. But this octave here is a bit heavy. So I'm going to lubricate this section from F to A. And uh, from F to A sharp. The keys are really, really long. I don't know if I can do an example video of this, but the the leverage is really big uh, on the touch. And the key is quite a bit bigger than another smaller size piano. I can measure that and then roughly, now the hammers, they come up the right amount when I press the hat key. They almost touch the string, then they drop off. That one's a bit too far away, actually. That, that's that's right there. So this is how your hammers should react. They should go to almost a few millimeters away from the string before uh, dropping down. That's the let off distance from the hammer to the string determines how far you can control the hammer before it lets go. The action stops you from playing.